<laughs> oh my god, I see double. <laughs> today but it's very very cloudy as you see very cloudy and it's just when it's cloudy it's not a good time to so, go up there so so we said we're gonna go to this uh, cathedral but we don't know if they allow kids so we're gonna see how that goes right yeah, we'll see but you know because if going to a salt cathedral and it's underground and because it's underground it may be kind of steep here here and there so we don't know how that's gonna be if it's child friendly but because we don't we try to call them but because we weren't speaking Spanish they kept hanging up so we're just gonna drive up there and see how it goes if not we just drive back but at least we're gonna try right sir so, we're gonna find out. Clearly, it's raining. Okay, we're in for Lucy, y'all. Can't catch a break today. Or in yesterday. Not today, not yesterday. Pouring down raining out here, so we won't be able to go to the salt mine either. Yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna start packing early for us for when we leave. So we'll try again our last day tomorrow. Tomorrow. But yeah, it's it's just rough out here. Thank God, Mommy has a little shield. So she's toasting there. But it is cold. It's raining cold. So we got to go in there. Bye bye. Okay. So what's our dilemma? We're packing our dreadful time of packing because we're always over and this airline told us Mombi can't have a bag yeah so the weight limit is 44 pounds and right now we're at 46. last time whenever we went to the airport we were over we were over by like three kilos or three pounds yeah. and they didn't charge us they didn't and we're like, that's nice. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. But this is a headache. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we always had the same trouble. That's why I'm like, let's do this days in advance. So we can at least sleep decent for a few nights. And not trying to pack the last night when it's time to go. Stress. We up literally probably almost 24 hours trying to oh, yeah. get everything situated. And then by the time we know it, we, we got to get up at six o'clock in the morning to be at the airport at you know eight o'clock or whatever oh yeah just being straight tired that's mm -hmm. the worst because last time i think we didn't even go to sleep we only slept like four hours four hours yeah i don't even think i even slept that i took a cat nap <laughs> before i knew it, it was time to get up it, 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 it was horrible every time we think we got it together it's still stressful. It's so sad because look at all that space. Look at all that space in there. <laughs> we can still fit, you know, a lot of stuff in there. Right, so we're gonna get to. And we still have a lot of stuff we still haven't put together. A lot. Like that big old diaper. We got that Vaseline over there. Can I help you? And we got you? Mom B. What you doing? What you doing? I'm gonna find ya. See, I'm just chilling. All right, today's our last day in Bogota, uh, but we're still gonna be in Colombia. The we, yeah, we couldn't be able to go to the mountain. It's too cloudy. At least, at least this time, you know. So if we ever decided to come back in the future. We'll be sure to, you know, make sure that we do that. 
because that is like one of the big things that we want at least i wanted to do it but you know yeah due to the weather and then you know being sick and everything kind of just messed some things up yeah we all got hit with it yeah all of us and Mombi was teething yeah so it was a rough week it, but, it, it was know, rough it was all right so we just make do with what we have and keep pushing yeah so but other than that we are going to enjoy this botanical garden yeah. come along with us uh -huh. I really really like their cleaning procedures like you come in you wash your hands and then they're so helpful mm -hmm, they are. which is good it says 30,000 pesos to come in here Colombian pesos. Colombian pesos excuse me which is 756 to come in to the garden USD. USD. So it's not bad if you're just looking for something to do, you know, while you're hanging around or whatever and want to come and see some beautiful stuff. Oh, and, and it, well, it included the botanical garden plus the tea garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the featured tropicario, the greenhouse as well. The greenhouse, yeah. So, yeah. It's not bad for a nice Sunday afternoon. And it feels nice. Yes, it does. It feels really nice outside right now. Because it came out early. Yeah. A lot of these plants have the name and the QR code. The only sad part is the QR code doesn't really work. I mean, it kind of does, but maybe because we don't have, maybe our connection isn't going through, but there's an option. To learn even more that way it's just not working out for us right now jordan botanical day bogota does in the garden one knowledge generation conservation of the ecosystem and flora of bogota dc two knowledge application develop development of vegetation and environmental coverage in both coverage three Knowledge appropriation. Knowledge is the educational and cultural subdirectorate. Pretty much from the little cards that I could read in English, they're pretty much all talking about water and how crucial water is to the whole ecosystem pretty much where the you never know where the water begins or ends and the water has helped seeds be able to move up mountains and all of the different parts of land and that's how vegetation has been able to grow everywhere it's just phenomenal what water can do one thing i will say they do have guided tours here but you have to know spanish if you don't know spanish you're doing the tour by yourself like we are Mm. So, the good thing is some of these charts are written in English. Some of them are, so you're going to see it. Yeah. But, at least you know, for a heads up, because for some reason we thought it was, but that's our assumption. We shouldn't have had that assumption knowing very well where we are. But, it's still not bad because we got the little signs we can read. Mm -hmm. So, we're still getting our own tour. Colombian territory had 9 million hectares of its ecosystem, but only 8% have managed to stay. This is considered one of the most endangered ecosystems. The inhabitants do not seem to notice. These are what we're using as a guide. This is gigantic. It would be crazy if this was a gigantic anthill, though. 
That's how they start out. They start out pink. Going through this um, botanical garden, pretty much reading into it, a lot of the the reason why a lot of the ecosystem is being endangered is because of one transportation of habit habitants, um, two deforestation, and three is the wildlife trade that's been going on. So that's what's endangering the ecosystem, which is so sad. Us as people, we think that we don't need it to look like this. You know what I'm saying? We think that this is okay. People actually think that this is okay. And it's just so sad. Because this also affects the way we live too. You know what I'm saying? So, every time I see stuff like this, it just, you know, it upsets me. You know? Because when we think about ourselves today, we don't necessarily, we're not thinking about the future generation. You know, our kids, kids, and their kids, and stuff like that. Even know? the animals. And the animals too, exactly, you know? We destroy their homes and then we get mad at them whenever they come in our backyards. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Alright, my people, that was the end of that. I like it. It was nice. It was really clean. It was informative. And it was nice to see different type of plants and flowers. Well, pretty much different plants. Yes, the ecosystem. The ecosystem. Of. Uh, a lot of different places. It's, yeah. th those plants come from all over the world, not just from Colombia. But um, it was really cool to, be able to see all the different plants and everything that live in each particular ecosystem region. And um, so, yeah, I really liked it. So, if you guys are ever around in the Colombian area, in Bogota, Bogota, but um, yeah, just come on over here and give it. It's very affordable too. Oh, very, yeah, very affordable. Because how much was it? Because if, if, oh my god. For us to go to a museum like this back at home, it would have been what? 40 bucks probably? Yeah, it would have been like 40, 50, 50 bucks. maybe up to even 60. Because we mm -hmm. were able to go to the botan botanical, and I mean, we were able to see all the plants, and we got a chance to go inside the greenhouse. That was 30,000 uh, Colombian pesos. In our money, in USD, that's like. Yeah, Somewhere a little there. bit under eight dollars. Under eight dollars, yeah, which so. is not bad at all. It's not. That's a real good deal. Yeah. Come see it for yourself. Gotta get it. I've been coming in a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I've been coming in a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I've been coming. Yeah, Coffee with leche with milk. Oh, that is so good. Hi. Grab it. Is it? Mm -hmm. It's two COP. This is some good stuff right here. That's why I couldn't get them every morning. Oh my gosh. I see why everybody be having these. Mm -hmm. It's nice and little and just perfect. It's hot though. Cause it's not really anywhere to hold other in the rim because it's just burning. Hmm? No, it's okay, I got it. For me. It's the last day, it's my first time trying it. But man, I would have been getting this all the time. 
pretty good. Oh my god, and it's a nice size, it's not too big. Mm -hmm. Just keep it moving. And they little and cheap. And it was what? This is one. Two girlfriends, 25 cents. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 2000 is COP, is which that? is around 50 cent USD. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's a ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a 